Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2 for our weekly Founders Vlog Art. Today is Thursday. It's something, there must be something important to talk about. What is it? When we're around, there's anything that we say, I would think, uh, particularly because you're participating, is important. Otherwise, why would we even bother doing this? But uh, having said that, uh, I think it might be interesting because this year has started off with some kind of funny rules finishing off last year was the required minimum distributions that you need to take from your IRA or right. other other uh, uh, forms of retirement income. And this, right. uh, so uh, this year is going to be a lot different because last year you could actually decide whether or not you want to take any money out. Okay. Yeah. And then there's always a question of, well, when should you take it out? Beginning of the year, end of the year on a regular basis. What do you do, John? Well, I, you know, the first thing I, I thought of is that um, I was a little surprised if I got it right last year, I didn't do anything different. But if I understood it correctly, you could, you didn't have to take your RMDs out of your IRA or, or retirement account. Right. And for me, I, I didn't, quite understand the advantage to that. Now, I guess if you were, if you were, had a lot of money and you had a lot of income, you would, that would be a benefit. You wouldn't want to have to take more income, right? And pay taxes on it. But most people last year during the COVID thing were certainly not worried about having too much income. They were worried about not having enough income. So I didn't see the benefit of not taking it. John, John okay. This is why we're so good together. Why on so many different things we can say, you know, John, you complete me. Or art, you complete me. Now here's in the art, you complete me category because I okay. have an accounting and finance degree. You and do. A, and a background. And <laughs> you, are, you are just like have been doing production forever. So I'm always coming to you for help there. So let me see if I can help you with your aha moment. Please. Okay. The reason is that for a lot of people who could get by without the money, a lot of their uh, IRAs took a big hit because the stock market dipped for a lot of people. So if you had certain things like ah. Netflix and Apple and things like that, you went on a raging tear. But most people had much more conservative things, real estate investment trusts, bonds and things like that, all took a hit. So if they took money last year, then they, they would be lowering their base and then have less money to generate interest this year. In so, other words, they probably have to, if it were stocks, they'd have to sell stocks at a loss. Right. In order to take the RMD. I get it. Okay. So, that, so this way, here's why that, this, this way it has a chance should, to recover. This, yeah. they figured that by the end of the year, the following year, it would recover. And in a lot of cases it did. I got you. Here's why that didn't affect me. I always take my RMD at the beginning of the year. Ah, right. Now, this is 2021. I haven't taken it yet, but probably before the end of January, I will take the RMD. Now, I wouldn't do that. You're right. I wouldn't do that if the stock market, because right. the stock market has a big effect on my uh, retirement account. Right. I wouldn't do that if the stocks were down low, but we're at a relatively, still at a, a record high. Right. So I have no problem having to cash out a little, a little, take some profits or whatever you want to call it and take my RRM, RMD now right. and putting it aside, paying taxes on it, whatever I have to do and putting it aside and having the money sitting uh, more accessibly in a cash, I call it a cash bank account, checking account so that I can have it when I need it during the year. I don't, I don't, some people I know take their RMDs, you know, a thousand here or the, a little here, a little right. there, throughout the year. I just take it in a lump sum, get it over with, pay the taxes, and put it in a bank and draw on it when I need it. I, that, I like the idea of having cash. That, that's interesting. I have uh, one uh, one uh, fund, uh, probably our biggest one, that's an overperformer and always has been, in fact, was last year. And I like to take it at the end of the year because what I do is uh, I take it out in one lump sum 
and that covers property taxes, uh, my uh, uh, auto home, all my insurance payments, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, one or two other major annual expenses that I all pay at the end of the year. So I take it out in November, and by the end of the year, that's got all that covered. Interesting thing happened is that this year, uh, and uh, this year, so we took it at the end of last year, but they changed the people who managed it, and the new people who manage it will only let you take it monthly. They won't let you oh. take it at all. So basically now I'm starting to take it, I throw, have to take it out and throw it into an account. Uh, yeah. But, you know, very small interest. Cause what am I going to do? I'm going to take it out and reinvest it someplace for, maybe I should, but, you know, I'm not that comfortable with the market these days on, you know, right. do I buy Apple and is it going to keep going up? Yeah, that kind of stuff. Sure, so sure. Many, There's always a, yeah. those are the end, end, uh, endless questions. They're so I think, I think, I think for yeah. this week, all we're doing is we're, we're awakening people to think about, did you take your IRA last year? Okay, right. if you didn't think about the, the tax effect of having to take two of them this year, which will probably have to happen, and maybe they'll, in the new tax bill, they'll, they'll figure out how yeah. to ease the burden of you taking twice as much money. And sure. also, um, the, the fact that you do have to plan for it. So if you don't plan every year, like John has a plan, and I right. have a plan, that you should probably think about it, particularly if you're early on in taking money out of these accounts, which you, which you must do, um, uh, starting at the age of, what, 72 max? That's 71 you, and a half, yeah. You have to wait. So... Or yeah. seven, seven, did they raise it from 70 and a half to 71 and a half? I don't know. I've been taking it for so many years now that, uh, you know, <laughs> I just want to know in about 20 years from now, is there still money in the account? That's all I want to know. Because, you know, I have a rolling plan. By the way, there is a great online calculator and you can download it. And I don't know what it's called, but you can look it up. Uh, it is a simple app you put in how much money you have yeah. now you put in how much money you want to have when you die and you put in what year you think you're going to die you know if right. you're 90 years old you don't put in a 20 years away you put it in you know 95 or whatever and it tells you what your distribution should be and how to get to the point where you or and you can reverse it if you can right. put in the money you're taking out and figure out how much money you'll have left over and at what year you'll run out of money. So it's and a there, great application. And there there are a few of them you can search for, those that are, are just based on pure longevity of how old you yes. are now. You put the yeah. amount in and it'll tell you what you would be required because I think uh, it's something like at about, at the age of 90 some odd, they want that account to be empty so they they figure out a, a certain amount each year to make right. sure it's empty. And if unfortunately, your your base keeps going up, they're going to send you more money. They're going to make you take out more money every year. Right. But the okay. only nice thing about it is those calculations are far more interesting than the body mass index that I've been <laughs> sending down, which are kind of depressing. That you're fighting every every month. Right. So anyway, we've, well, that's... We, we had a very good week of just now sharing uh, attention to your required minimum distribution. And I think with that, we should probably... Say goodbye. I, I'm going to go withdraw some money. It'll make me feel better. Okay. <laughs> Take care, Art. Bye, everybody. And by the way, before we say goodbye, please go to our YouTube channel, Celebrating Act Two, and subscribe. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you don't need some of that money, you know, if it's burning a, a hole in your checking account, you can send it to us. What was it? Soupy yeah. Sales or some some guy? Some, uh, with Soupy Sales, some, yeah. Some, That's some, a lot told, of trouble. Told, told all the kids to go out and... Uh, uh, get all the uh, change out of their parents' pockets and send it in. Get all those green pieces of paper right. and send them to Soupy, yeah. Yeah, so please, you could, and we're going to make it easy for you. You can either Venmo or PayPal it to us. <laughs> Bye, everybody. We'll see you next week. See Thanks. You. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.